2020 was a challenging Folks, this is not survival. and record-breaking year. Oh! But South Florida, it's 2021 and it's time to prepare. As you can see here, all of this is PPE. While we're still feeling the pandemic's effects. I've never seen anything like it in 25 years. COVID already had increased the demand for generators threefold. From plywood to generators, we're going to get you ready and show you the innovations to power you through the season. The technology is a game changer. Plus, we'll check in on recovery efforts from the Keys. It's a monumental undertaking. To the Bahamas. We're here as they prepare for another hurricane season. And you don't have to have a storm make landfall in your county to make it a significant event. Your weather authority working to make sure you're staying storm safe. Hurricane season is just around the corner and your weather authority team has you covered. Hi, I'm Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis in Fort Lauderdale. And I'm Hurricane Specialist Brian Norcross in Miami. Over the next hour, we're getting you ready for hurricane season 2021. And to do that, we've got your weather authority team spread from Big Pine Key to Riviera Beach to the Bahamas. Even Betty and I are spread out this year, keeping socially distant as the pandemic continues. 2020 was a challenging year, and not just because of COVID. Last year brought one of the most active Atlantic hurricane seasons, setting several records. But now we're looking at what we may need to get ready for in the months ahead. We have two tropical storms in the Atlantic. We have a hurricane in the Pacific and we have an area to watch off the coast of Africa. The tropics are really heating up. We are watching three different systems out there. We are at 15 storms about a week ahead of uh, any other season. Normally we would be at six. Records shattered in an unusually active season. Oh, I have never seen this where you have overlapping cones. The 2020 Atlantic hurricane season brought the most named storms on record, 30, with 13 becoming hurricanes, six of them major, and it was only the second time in history the Greek alphabet had to be used. We thought it was going to be active, but it was even more active than we, than we originally anticipated. Dr. Phil Klotzbach is a research scientist with Colorado State University. Its predictions about the upcoming hurricane season came out in April. We are forecasting a bit above normal this season. Our April forecast, like you noted, is very similar to what we said last year. CSU is forecasting 17 named storms, with eight becoming hurricanes, four of those major, category three or stronger. But just because the prediction is similar to 2020 doesn't mean the season will be a repeat. For example, the season may look like 2008, doesn't necessarily mean we expect to see another Hurricane Ike or obviously just because the, sim the conditions at least now look broadly similar to what we saw in 2017 at this time. Doesn't necessarily we're expecting to see another Hurricane Irma or Maria or Harvey. So Dr. Klotzbach says that's where climate patterns El Nino and La Nina come in. El Nino lends itself to less hurricane activity in the Atlantic Basin due in large part to an increase in wind shear. Strong winds can prevent tropical disturbances from developing. La Nina, on the other hand, does the opposite. Hurricanes like two things. They like Jordan Jones, who co-authored the forecast with Dr. Klotzbach, says though La Nina may be neutral during the season, there's another issue. We still have warm Atlantic sea surface temperatures, and this is a huge um, deal, right? This is where hurricanes get their energy from. If we maintain these warm Atlantic sea surface temperatures, then we are definitely going to see um, hurricane activity. Last year, South Florida dodged most of the tropical systems, but the area did get rain and wind from tropical storm Isaias and Hurricane Ada, which developed late in the season. Ada making landfall in the Keys, and who can forget the destruction it brought to Central America along with Hurricane Iota. Those two storms really stood out. It's remarkably intense storms and obviously caused just an extreme amount of devastation in Central America. But it's not all bad news. So the good news is we don't expect it to be like 2020. Um, but the bad news is that we still do expect some kind of um, above normal activity. You don't have to have a storm making landfall in your county 
to make it a significant event. And the message stays the same. Now's the time to really prepare, have a plan in place, refresh your hurricane preparedness kit, and then know what you're going to do. Predictions from NOAA are in. Its forecasters are calling for an above average 2021 hurricane season with 13 to 20 named storms, six to 10 of them becoming hurricanes, of those three to five becoming major, category three or stronger. It's always good to remember no matter how active the season is forecast to be, it only takes one.